We have the Chiefs and the Chargers. I don't know why I said it like that. This is the game that they retired LaDainian Tomlinson's jersey. And man, the show man didn't him, deserve that. Yeah. Man did not deserve that shit. And to show him respect, they couldn't even get a fucking touchdown. The man did not deserve that. No. The, the, I think the spread on it, I might be wrong on this. It, I don't know if it, if this was the final spread, but when I looked at it at one point, it was the Chiefs by three. Uh-huh. And good fucking job covering that spread. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> well, about 30 bro like <coughs> i mean there's a three in there yeah <laughs> just double <coughs> double ten percent of what they won by <coughs> oh my god uh, the chiefs are on a little bit of a roll yeah they definitely four in are. a row they're having a bit of a comeback i was ready to write them off i think i might have actually written them off on the show yeah which my bad <laughs> They're, they're doing pretty good, and they're definitely a wild card contender. And if the Broncos don't get their shit together, which, you know, they did win, but yeah. they're at risk of giving that division away to the Chiefs. Yeah, they truly so are. It, know, it suddenly doesn't look as locked down as it seemed like it did a few weeks ago. It's not only that the Chiefs are winning, but they're massive blowouts. I mean, it happened yeah. in London, too. It, what was it, against the Lions? It was just yeah. such a ma- – I mean, the Lions are a pretty terrible team. But then so again, charged. so is, yeah, San Diego's a pretty <laughs> terrible team, too. Uh, the difference is some teams play against terrible teams, and they win, and that's it. Like, they just get a win. But, I mean, when you really come out there and show what you're really made out of and you're going to make them eat that they're a terrible team, you know, that's I mean, a they, lot. They beat Denver during this run. You know, they beat the Steelers. Was that the other one? I yeah. think it was. Yeah. The Steelers, and they've beaten Denver now. So, I mean, they proved they could do it. It's just, I mean, if I, let me, pulling up their schedule right here, they've got the Bills, the Raiders, the Chargers, the Ravens, the Browns, and, the, and then the Raiders again. Oh, my God, they have so, to play the Chargers again? Right. We have to see well, this again. The so and and it's going to be easy. in Kansas City? <laughs> yeah. So, not the roughest schedule, though. No, it's really point. not. The Ravens, the Browns, <laughs> the toughest team on that schedule left looks like the Raiders. Maybe the Bills. No, on top of everything else, much. Jamal Charles out with an ACL. You yeah. get Santandrick West in there, tore it up. He's out. Right. So despite you know these that the running backs are dropping like crazy, doesn't seem to affect them at all, and. Uh, you were right that, you know, earlier this season we're kind of talking about is Andy Reid done? You know, are the Chiefs done? Is this doesn't look like it? <laughs> we're way off. Like it, they had a slow start. I'll give them that. But Andy Reid is proving us both that he's still a hell of a coach. And I even said out of respect when I was writing him off that he should be a Hall of Fame coach. Well, if he's gonna keep playing a team like this. Yeah, well, I at least was right about one thing about him. <laughs> well, you know, I, I, he's never been like a bad coach. I just, I don't know if he can put it all together to win the Super Bowl. So, we'll see, I guess. But uh, on the flip side, the Chargers here look like they could. I know I said in a video that the Ravens look like the worst team, but the Chargers are going to give them a run for their money down the stretch here. <laughs> You know, it's true. The one time it looked like the Chargers were going to do something, Philip Rivers threw a pick six. So, yeah. And after the strong start, you know, the Chargers, despite not winning that many games, had they looked like a solid team at the very beginning versus the Chiefs looking really bad. Yeah. And that that narrative has completely flipped over you know the last several weeks. Just the Chargers slowed down. Philip Rivers hasn't been what he was. He's not leading the league in passing yards by any means. That's we're still literally. There, but he's not doing that. Anymore. Well, he's in second place behind Tom Brady as of right, right. now. But and, and falling though. Yeah. So we'll see how that turns out. I yeah. think it's almost to the point where, you know, the first eight weeks, I'll say, the biggest thing that the San Diego had was. Philip Rivers threw a lot of passing yards, right. and so we're losing. 
Then he loses yeah. Keenan Allen. They still can't establish a running game after, hey, the season's three fourths done, almost. Right. If, if you, you haven't established a run, run game now, now you're not gonna do it. <laughs> uh, and I think this is the point where Philip Rivers probably just feels, what the fuck is the point of me passing 500 yards per game if we're gonna lose? I mean, they literally did it against Green Bay. They literally have done it, you know, all season. And at this point, the season's pretty much over for them. Anyways. Yeah, I, I, I think, think he's just. Pretty, pretty, I mean, if I was Philip Rivers, I'd feel in the same boat. Like. It doesn't matter if I'm going to put out 500 yards. If we're going to lose a game, who cares? So I, I think we're going to see his stats start declining too, which, you know, maybe shout out to fantasy football owners. I don't know if you still want to use them or not. I mean, that might be too early to say too, to be honest. But I'm just, I'm not going to count on San Diego doing anything the rest of the year because where is the, where would their momentum be at this point? You know, they know that they're not going anywhere in the division. Right. Uh, at this point, same thing with Baltimore. You might as well just hope for a good draft pick next year, which probably would be another running back because that Melvin Gordon did not work out for him. Yeah, sadly. I mean, I, it's still his first year, so. Uh, True. I, I don't like casting judgment on rookies too harshly, but he's done pretty much nothing. I think he so, would at least should have shown, like, a little burst, some something that, he, but he's showing nothing all year. I mean, they got rely on Danny Woodhead, which I think is honestly where the majority of Philip Rivers' passing yards has gone to this year. <laughs> yeah, to be honest, he didn't do anything. Either. Yeah. Oh, well, Chargers suck. Chiefs. Ah, we're getting there. Yeah. I don't know. Chiefs right now. Wild card contender, either. wild card contender, and they're definitely red hot. I don't, I don't know if this would be a team that I would want to play, you know, right now in the season. Yeah. Um, so you know, good, good job, Chiefs. Um, good job, Andy Reid, for making us put our words back in our mouths. <laughs> but there you go. Uh, overall, all thumbs up. Well, not all thumbs up. Oh, Pretty <laughs> overall. <laughs> yeah. You know, and to re wrap it all up, man, Ladanian Tomlinson yeah. must be fucking disappointed. Back, back where we started. Yeah. <laughs> that really... man did not deserve that charge. No, Come he did Come on, y'all need to re retire his jersey <laughs> in yeah. a different game. Yeah, you gotta, like, allow, like, just pr- pick, pick up somebody off free agency. Give Ladanian Tomlinson his jersey number, and then like cut him the next week, and then re-retire his jersey just so they can actually have a decent game next year. Because holy shit, that's way too good of a running back to see a game like that happen. What that happens to Green Bay? Oh, God, don't, I'm scared now. Don't even tell me things <laughs> like that. I don't even curse Lambo like that. <laughs> um, you know, and also. Kind of like Baltimore. I, you know, here's a good question. Would you rather be a Baltimore fan or a San Diego fan right now? <laughs> Leave us in the comments. <laughs> uh, I think I'd rather jump off a bridge. <laughs> and die. <coughs> that's, that, that's a good question. For everybody out there who is actually watching this video... Let us know in the comments if you'd rather be a Baltimore fan, a San Diego fan, or if you'd rather jump off a bridge right now. Ask him the deep question. The right the hard question. question. Yeah, the hard question. That's a, that's a really hard question. That's what we do on this show. We ask the hardest question. Yeah. Uh, and then, as always, you can like us on Facebook and Twitter. Links in the description below. You can even uh, comment if you'd rather be a Baltimore or San Diego fan in there. And we will definitely see how badly San Diego does next week. <laughs>